Hello, welcome to Crafting with Lee. Today I'm going to make this USA Poof Wreath. I used only items that I purchased at Dollar Tree. Most of the tutorials I've seen online don't offer a poof method with Dollar Tree mesh. And I just wanted to show you that you could also use this mesh to make a poof wreath. I'm going to start by adding pipe cleaners to my wire frame. I do one at each crossbar for the center and then as I do the outside I lay the pipe cleaners along the wreath. Where it ends is where I add another pipe cleaner. I twist three times as tightly as I can get it. I end up with 14 ties. I'm going to open up all of my outside ties and I'm going to start with the white mesh. This is six inch deco mesh. I'm just going to use a zip tie to secure. And then I'll just trim away the excess zip tie. And you do your poofs just like you do with 21 inch mesh. You just do about 10 inches. 12 was too much, but 10 was the perfect number. And I'm going to stick it in there and twist once. And then I just kind of poof out my, the poof I made. And I'm going to go all around the wreath, um, outside and inside with the white. And then I'm going to go to the red. And as I'm doing it, I'm just going slightly bigger over the white. And I'm going to do the same thing where I go all around the outside and the inside. The only difference that I'm doing in this wreath is I'm not opening my ties at all. I'm just doing a poof and adding it on there. Um, when you open your ties, it sinks things into your wreath. And when you do it without opening your ties, it tends to set things up higher. Okay, and then I'm going to go through with my blue. And you could do this with all the same color. Um, and you might not even be able to notice that it's six inch mesh if you use all the same color and then put lots of ribbon. All right, and then to go to the inside ring, I do this with all of them. I do open that tie just to move it up to that intersection. And then I'll just twist once and go around as normal. And then I'll end with that tie. And again, I'm just going slightly above where I've already got poofs. It doesn't look very pretty right now, but once you get it done, you can move things around to where you like them. All right, at the end of doing this, I'm going to use a zip tie to secure it to the frame. And now I'm just going to go around and poof it out. And it really does make a difference. Now the same with 21 inch mesh as with this mesh, um, you can tend to have holes in the center. Um, that's why most people will do like a ruffle method on top or add lots of ribbon. I am still going to use this mesh. Um, they didn't have any patriotic themed ribbon. So I'm taking all three meshes at the same time and I'm going to secure it to the center um, bar. All right, I'm going to do this differently than I did the outside because I put the zip ties on, I'm sorry, the pipe cleaners on to begin with. To do the center poofs, I'm just going to cut pipe cleaners in half and I'm just going from one crossbar to another. So where they're sectioned off, I believe there's six sections, so I end up with six poofs. And I'm just putting it around and just twisting like three or four times on the back. And you can decide how big you want your poofs. I didn't actually measure them. I just did what I thought felt right. It might be slightly higher than the existing poofs. I wanted this layer to stand out more. 
And see, I'm just holding from underneath and then I'm going to feed the pipe cleaner through. And then I just twist three times. All right, once I get all that done, I secure with the zip tie and I, I started on the opposite side of where I started um, with the bottom layer, just so there wasn't a big cluster of zip ties. And this is what it looks like before I poof the, or fluff, the poof, the poofs. And I tried to alternate colors like that. I had the red on the right. And then the next one I do the white on the right and, you know, the blue on the left. And, and again, you can do this all in the same color and it would be a pretty full wreath. I had some mesh left over, so I decided to make tiny curls. This is optional. I just didn't have any ribbon and I felt like it still needed something. And I'm just gonna make a pretty edge um, to start. Watch your fingers if you use a rotary cutter. And I put them all together just because it makes it easier. I'm cutting my curls at 10 inches. And I ended up needing 28 individual pieces of mesh uh, because I put two in each pipe cleaner. Not the pipe cleaners that I use for the center, but the ones that are open. And then I just roll it. I picked two colors that I liked together um, and I alternated. And then you just stick them together. And I like to put the open side down so you don't see it. And then I'm just gonna place it on top and I didn't open my pipe cleaners again. And then now I'll twist three times and then use my glue stick to roll down the pipe cleaners just to make it look pretty. All right, after I've added all of my curls, I'm gonna take my USA sign and I wanted to take it apart. I didn't really like it up and down. Um, so I'm just pulling the burlap rope off of it. And then I'm just gonna staple um, pipe cleaners to the back of it. I thought they were so pretty. With Dollar Tree signs and some other signs, you wanna make sure that you put some kind of cushion in between the staple and the sign um, because it will staple all the way through. And I just use tags or pieces of ribbon spools, the little cardboard pieces, and it works perfect. I put two on each sign to begin with, I only put one on the S, but it kept shifting, so I go back and take it off and added another pipe cleaner. And then I like to twist it after I've stapled. I usually put two staples in each pipe cleaner. And then I'm going to start with the center letter so I can make sure I get it the way I want it to look. And I just feed the pipe cleaners through to the back. And then I will twist them around the wire frame. And to begin with, I do it loosely, and then I go back and secure it once I'm happy with where my sign is. And then I'll just go around and adjust and then trim any excess strings hanging out. And that's it. That's how I made my Dollar Tree USA Poof Wreath. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, or you can email me at craftingwithlee at yahoo.com. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.